What's going on friends and family? I'm back with another movie review. We're talking about Doom. I think it was good. Hit that intro. <laughs> Director was Dene Bednook. I might have said that wrong. Forgive me. But the cast was Timothy Chalmette, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Jason Momoa, Oscar Isaac. So this film is basically about a young man basically taking the reins from his father eventually so he could become something greater, like the one. And he got to make sure that his family and his future of his dynasty will continue on. So he got to travel to the most dangerous parts of the desert and get resources and information and basically become the man that he was destined to be. So all of this stuff is new to him, but he's been trained to to fight in battle he's been trained to lead he's been trained to be the savior of their community their city or their dynasty their castle or their planet or you know somewhere in there this film is sci-fi with adventure with action when you go see this this is supposed to blow your mind pros the action scenes in here is pretty cool this is like in the year 1109 with some years like that it's way into the future i was getting vibes of tremor mixed with the mandalorian so when you watch for the first time you might have to really pay attention because there's a lot of details a lot of lore there and i never seen the original dune or the next dune after that so like i'm new to this world okay just me as a person coming in to see a movie that I'm interested in because of the trailers. It looked good. It was good. I just feel like you maybe gotta watch it a second time. Just saying. Cons. It was a part that a couple characters lost in the desert and a helicopter just automatically fly from nowhere and find them like with ease like no beacon no tracker no flare in the sky none of that just come with me if you want to live like come back and just oh my lord you know, I'm looking like, like, how the hell did he find them? You just fly and get lucky? Hell no. Second thing, it's another part. Dealing with those tremor type vibes with some people was in danger. And they had enough space for everybody except three. They got everybody out, allegedly, because they stated what they could do. But if I did the math right, I think three people died. Damn. The other thing was this film was good all the way up until the end. So far right now, I don't know and I don't think they know when the next movie part two to this is coming out. I was kind of wanting more. Like you end it on a part that like we might got to wait three years. We might got to wait two years or three years just to see the conclusion to this film. And I'm looking like we're going to forget about it. So that means you got to go back and watch this, which is fine. Fine, but I think that's too far away. But let's rate this film. Okay, so I give it average. I definitely recommend you to go see it. This is one of them films that you can see. Now, it's on HBO Max and it's at the movie theater. You can go see it, but I'm letting you know now. It's going to be unresolved until the next film come out. And I feel like it's going to leave a lot of people a little bit upset, especially the people that do know this lore or do know this story for the people that don't know nothing we looking like that's it <laughs> you know but uh it was good i liked it action scenes was good and jason mama was a beast a beast he really trying to promote that aquaman but <laughs> that's all i got to say about this one make sure you like subscribe and peace see you in the next one <laughs>